Attention all commands, we have incoming. I say again, we have incoming on the airbase. We need to get airborne before yesterday. We only have two RB05 command guided missiles on board, but these can be fired in air to air mode. We see the contacts up ahead. They're heading for a runway. We'll use the taxiway for takeoff and make the most of this. Punch it. Here they come. We better get out of their way. Wheels up. Breaking left. Well, at least we managed to take to the air before they turned over our airstrip. We are going to be turning against the enemy now and see what we can do with our RB-05s. Enemy airplanes are currently turning away from us. They'll rue the day they came to visit our airstrip. Some serious weapon impacts on the base, but we should be fine. Targets are SU-24 fencers. I say again, fencers. We'll stay fast for the time being, but we don't want to overshoot them. The RB-05 needs some room to maneuver. Target is dead ahead. Once they go for that home stretch, we are in business. Slowing down to zone 1, and we should be at the optimum launch range for the missile at hand. They really shouldn't have come in this low, but that was the only way they were gonna beat our radar. Enemy target is still turning, we don't want to hit them while they're turning. There we have a target that's not turning. We're moving to follow it. We're slowing down a bit. We are a little bit too close. If we launch now, the initial rocket burst of the missile is likely to make the warhead overshoot. We also need to keep a bit of a tabs on the second airplane. But we are in a comfortable position here. Once we've slowed down enough we can start considering our engagement. Ready. Pippers on the target. And fire! And the proximity fuse worked as a charm. The missile did not need to hit, and it took that bomber's wing clean down. Now, the other plane might have seen what happened. They might be a little bit terrified about losing to what is essentially an air-to-ground missile. But the proximity fuse will not discern between air and ground targets. So, let's have a look and see if... We can repeat the success. There is no fox calls with this thing. We will simply put ourselves in a decent heading. Altitude hold. And fire. The missile is tracking. Target engaged. Let's see if the Russians are up for another nasty surprise. And that they are. We've splashed the second target. I say again, we have splashed the second target. 
RB05 are confirmed effective against enemy airborne targets. Well, that is quite enough for the role playing for the moment. The RB05 is a bit of an odd missile in the DCS arsenal because you manually guide it to the target. You have a little extra stick on where you basically guide it or you hold a secondary stick in and this will then allow you to use your main joystick to pallet it. The main concerns of the RB05 was that the if you aim it from the cockpit, uh, which you should do, what I did was basically cheating, but I wanted to show the results. I wanted to show that the hits were not because of a direct hit. I wanted to show the proximity fuse in action. So, is it a viable weapon against air targets? Well, I would actually say that it might be. I'm not going to pretend like it's a supernatural weapon, but on a if you take off and you don't really know what your target is going to be, and you know that you're not really unlikely to get shot at, the RB05 is not a bad choice. In fact, it can it can be downright effective as we have just demonstrated. And the same missile works against air and ground targets, for that matter. So you don't have to worry about the missile having the wrong kind of missile on board. It will be, it is a multi-role kind of weapon. And it will remain that way. And, of course, an enemy will not have a lock-on signature or anything. But the main drawbacks of the weapon is that if the enemy turns, the missile can't follow. Or rather, it will be very difficult for the missile at hand to follow. What I shown you was basically the optimum way. Like, we don't didn't have time to reload. We had to get off the base as quickly as possible and everything like that we just had to get off the deck no questions asked we just had to get off the deck it is in regards to campaign work and single missions i can also think that it has a role because as a bomber killer that thing is very fun to use actually so we are going to prep ourselves for a nice little landing on the taxiway there. And we are going to flip down the weapon safety cover. There we go. Uh, 